So I'm going to use this case to demonstrate the concept of uh, respiratory drive measured by the uh, P.1, uh, which is the drop in the pressure in the first 100 milliseconds of inspiration. Uh, what we have here is uh, uh, a patient on assist control mode of ventilation. Uh, we're uh, targeting a volume of uh, 450 ml, so this is volume control. We're doing this with a maximum flow of 60 liters per minute and then decelerates as per the settings here. Uh, patient is on 100% FiO2 PEEP of 8 and the set respiratory rate is 24 per minute. Uh, what we have here is pressure over time, flow over time, and volume over time. Anything that is green is inspiration on this ventilator. Anything that is yellow is expiration. So let's take a look on the pressure over time. And let's take a look on the second uh, breath here. You can see that the patient is initiating the breath. There is a drop in the uh, inspiratory pressure. So he triggered the ventilator. Once the, once the ventilator is triggered, the target is to give 450. The machine will utilize any pressure required to overcome the resistance and the compliance or the elastance of the lungs in order to deliver 450. However, the patient can breathe during this. And if the patient started to breathe, he drops his, his intrathoracic pressure and the machine doesn't have to give that pressure. And that's what we see here. So initially the pressure went up to around 20, 22 centimeter of water. However, you see a drop in the pressure after that. And the pressure goes up to below the PEEP level. And at the end of inspiration here, looks like the patient stopped breathing and the ventilator had to go up on the pressure to around 30 centimeter of water to get that volume in. So this is inspiratory effort by the patient. As a result of this, you can see the flow <coughs> is set as, uh, at 60 liter per minute as a maximum and then decelerates exactly as we wanted it uh, to be given. And with this flow, you can see that we delivered 450 uh, ml of tidal volume. This is happening every, uh, almost every single breath. Uh, you can see that here, you can see that here too. So the question is, of course, this indicates the patient is air hunger, but what is the respiratory drive of the patient? Uh, how can we measure the respiratory uh, drive? So the respiratory drive is measured uh, by what we uh, call the uh, pressure in the first 100 millisecond of inspiration. <clears throat> this is the P.1. And uh, this is the procedure that we do. Anything that is white indicating that on this ventilator indicating that this is a procedure or maneuver. So the maneuver is actually to measure the drop in the intrathoracic pressure in the first 100 milliseconds of inspiration. And that drop is actually indicative of the respiratory drive. It, it is not related to the changes in the respiratory dynamics such as the uh, compliance or the resistance. So you can see here, once uh, the pressure is measured in the first 100 milliseconds, the uh, value is minus eight centimeter of water, indicating that this patient dropped his intrathoracic pressure by eight centimeter of water during the first 100 milliseconds of his inspiration. So this is of great value because that initial drop, you can see that here, uh, the airways are included, uh, are occluded, and then the pressure is measured. In the first 100 milliseconds, we measure the pressure, and as you see in this case, we drop the pressure from five to minus one, so that's minus six centimeter of water. So again, this is for the initial drop in the pressure that is done by the patient. Now, any value that is <coughs> between minus 1.5 to minus 3.5, so meaning that a drop in the intrathoracic pressure by 1.5 centimeter of water or uh, up to 3.5 centimeter of water, this is appropriate level of support. The uh, uh, respiratory drive is uh, normal. 
and there's uh, appropriate sedation for the patient. And if you have this value, there's a high rate of weaning success. In our case, it was lower than minus 3.5 centimeter. It was minus eight. What does that indicate? It indicates high respiratory drive or you don't have sufficient level of support. So you're under assisting the patient. In other words, what we use is like patient has air hunger. And of course, that indicates high rate of weaning failure because we can utilize this uh, maneuver to uh, assess whether the patient is ready for uh, weaning, uh, for extubation or not. If the value is more than <coughs> minus 1.5, meaning that minus 1 or minus 0.5, this is a low respiratory drive, or you're giving so much support so the patient doesn't have to do anything. anything. So that is over assistance. And there, there is a high rate of weaning uh, failure for that patient. So I think uh, that will, uh, let's go back to the case here. Uh, you can see it is minus eight centimeter of water. That is the initial drop. And in this case, the clinical scenario was the patient, as you see here, his respiratory rate is up to 41 uh, per minute. And his minute ventilation is 16 liters or 17 liters. So this is, uh, compared to the previous day, his minute ventilation was eight liters. So there is a, there's a double in the minute ventilation required to achieve uh, ventilation for the patient. And turn out that this patient has pulmonary, massive pulmonary embolism. So I hope this case uh, uh, is, uh, uh, in, uh, I hope this case is actually a good example of how you assess the respiratory drive and uh, determine whether you're uh, doing over assistance, under assistance, or the patient has uh, an increased respiratory drive, drive or decreased respiratory drive. Thank you very much.